As you know, uh, I did actually study economics, so I do have some degree of qualification to discuss this. Um, it doesn't look to me like the economy is falling to bits and causing inflation. So something else must be causing it. And I think it's the green energy uh, policies that we've got, which have massively driven up the cost of everything, like the haulage mm. and so on. That affects your food, your clothes, everything that we do. If we just got a handle on this insane mm. mad dash for renewables, which we're paying for, mm. then I don't think we'd have the level of inflation. Why is the British economy doing so much worse than elsewhere? Because we've been bragging about being green. So I think we junk those environmental policies. Second thing we could do, if we really needed to, I don't think we would if we did what I've just described there. Mm -hmm. Second thing we could do is actually another big handout. We've proved that with the most socialist government in the history of Britain, namely the Conservatives at the moment, you can put hundreds of billions of pounds of debt on and not destroy things. But they had to. I mean, so really the, the debt that we're looking at is from the pandemic. Yeah. Otherwise, what would we have done? It would have been actually worse. So yeah. I don't know whether that matters what you're, whether you're socialist government or capitalist government, that had to be but, done. But what I'm saying is, <clears throat> even if you're dubious about my environmental position here, and they shouldn't be, I, I, I make this point again, anyone who wants to question my position on the Greens, have the courage to sit with Danny sitting and explain where I'm wrong. But let's, just say, let's assume that's going to take a bit longer. £75,000 million pounds of, uh, of borrowing could give £3,000 per household. Now, 50 quid, 100 quid isn't going to do much, but £3,000 would make quite a big difference. Mm, yeah. So there is something we could do here. The precedent has been set by the Conservatives. Uh, so they are willing to borrow when it matters. If they're that concerned about it, that's one thing they could do. So they should borrow to, to do yeah. what? To cut the green levies? Uh, no, no. What I think is we, we, we should scrap the green levies. Okay. Uh, and one other point. You've, uh, and if, if you really want to stimulate the economy, then put a few billions in. Uh, uh, in terms of the, the fuel, most of what we pay for our petrol and diesel is actually taxed. 48%, yeah. 48%. And, and actually. Car, car 26, you had Lois Perry from yeah. Car 26 here. She came up with a good idea. I don't know if she said it on television. She suggests that the government says this is how much we'll take from fuel and then we'll regulate the tax to make sure that it might be... 37 billion. So they don't take windfall taxes because they're slamming the oil companies. But they're getting the windfall tax too. The government is. Well, Danny's laughing at you. I'm not. Uh, you lost him. No, lost. You just, lost. You know what's going on. You're like the Duracell bunny sometimes. <laughs> I'm wondering when you're going to come up for air. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. I, I, I enjoyed it. I think Boris Johnson, that a conservative policy, what he should do is say, we're going to pause this 25% windfall tax yeah. because the evidence is that we want to start re-drilling in, mm -hmm. in, the, in the North Sea. Let's put some money back in people's pockets and see how that goes. And maybe you don't even need to cut the VAT. Let's just scrap the 25%, because I think that's a vote winner. I, I really think, do. I think you're right. I think that's where we need to go.